Hello my Gemini, who's your true love? So welcome to my channel, like, subscribe, comment down below. If you'd like to book a reading with me, you can so by emailing down below. And if you'd like to donate to my channel, you can so. And my cash app is down below. Alright, let's get started for you my Gemini's. Who is your true love? Someone who is um who makes you smile and makes you laugh. I was picking this up when I um right before I pushed record. Um, is this this person gonna make you smile a lot? That's what I'm getting, like a lot. <laughs> so about dancing, you guys gonna dance a lot. You guys may like dancing. Yeah, very playful. I told you, you guys like very playful with each other, like dancing. This person gonna make you laugh a lot, smile, giddy. You'll be feel all giddy like a child. <laughs> okay, codependency came out. So with this card, I feel like this person recognized that you're very, very independent, and this person want you to want them, um, like need them, you know, like, like want them how they want you, need them how they like to the point where they can take care of you. But this person see that you're fulfilled in life, that you can take care of yourself, you have no wants, no desires. This person wants you to be codependent on them, but you're too independent for that. And that really bothers this person for some reason. Because this person is very, I guess, traditional in that sense, that wants to take care of you, spoil you, pamper you. This person doesn't want you to want for anything. This person doesn't want you to worry about anything. This person wants you to be fulfilled in life. Um, by like getting everything that you want and desire. This person want to give that to you. This person want to have a purpose with you. Um, it says stay optimistic about your love life, release your ex and religious factor. Wow. This is the woman. Okay, so your true love is someone who desires and love you a lot. Someone who wants everything for you, want to do anything for you, okay? That is your true love. But there's an ex that is also your true love as well. You had two partners. Um, but I guess the, your ex is someone who you were in love with. But this person um, broke you. This this person, you guys broke up. It says release your ex and religious fact. You guys broke up because you guys were as compa compatible that than you thought. You didn't... See, okay. This person didn't see you. Religious factor. This person didn't see you for who you are. This person couldn't see your growth. This person didn't see your beauty. Like, you are a very beautiful person. Like, it's like this person was camouflaged. Like, it was, this person was living an illusion. Your ex person, they couldn't see your beauty. They couldn't see your warranty. They couldn't see your authenticity. They, they couldn't see you. At all, and like you are very beautiful, I must say, my collective. Uh, that's what I'm getting with the religious factor. Um, so when it was in your present, when you guys were in union, um, this person didn't uh, see your value, see how worthy, and see that you were precious to them at that time until you guys broke up. That's where they felt everything, and you as well. You felt something as well that was painful. Um, but as time went on, you were healing um, throughout time and whatnot. Uh, you took time to heal. And as you heal, you start to reveal your real self. It's like you're, you start to glow. People can see your glow, your aura, your warranty, your divinity. People saw you for who you really are. So this real ex, this breakup sets you free, whether you realize it or not. Uh, it, it brought you to your true divine partner, the one that want you to be codependent on them. It brought you to the one that holds the key, the one who holds the key, the one who holds the key to your heart. And I feel like with this ex, because when I say there's two partners that you, okay, there's one that's your divine true partner, and there's one that is your like your love, your true love, but not um, your true love. Is someone that you had you was really in love with, but you, that person didn't have the key to your heart. Your divine partner does. So what I'm getting here, my collective, is because of this ex, 
the support that you was in love with broke you and you were broken heart about that you didn't want to be in love anymore you didn't appreciate or want want love anymore you just felt you i feel like this ex really changed your perception of love and therefore you wasn't paying attention to that you wasn't in, invested into love falling in love again um and it's the card is saying stay optimistic about your love life because your divine partner is was growing, coming is coming in this this person is in your life whether you know it or not but you don't see this person for who they are. It's, it's very like a 360. Like your ex didn't see you for who you are, and they treated you as such. And it broke you, and you, you set yourself free. Your tr true, authentic, divine partner is actually here, who the one who holds your key, but you don't see them. So you see how that's like what? I'm gonna do part two next week. Okay, you guys. I'm gonna leave it there. Bye.